Building a personal brand is hard work. It's easy to feel like you're just another photographer or just another designer or just another life coach or whatever it is you do, drowning in a sea of people who do exactly the same thing. If you feel like your voice is getting lost in the crowd, don't worry because I am sharing one of my favorite secrets to make your brand stand out and it involves fashion. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mariah, the owner and creative director of Mariah Riona Branding, helping creative female entrepreneurs build brands with confidence and success. If that's something you're interested in, then be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click the little bell icon to make sure you're the first to be notified of when I upload new videos. Okay, so what's this big secret? I call it the brand wardrobe. My brand wardrobe is a fairly large collection of clothing and accessories that are all on brand. Why do I need a brand wardrobe? So you might be thinking, sure, I love clothes too, Mariah, but why do I need a brand wardrobe? Well, if you want to build a successful personal brand, then you need consistency and you need brand recognition. I talk about these two concepts a lot and they really work in tandem. You can check out my video on brand style guides to learn more. But basically, these two ideas are on the forefront of my mind anytime I'm working with a client on their visual branding, whether that's their brand collection where I not only design their logo system, but also very carefully select their brand colors, fonts, and overall brand aesthetic. Or later in the process when I'm shooting their brand photography and I curate a whole custom style guide full of props, wardrobe, makeup, and accessories to make sure they're staying on brand. But staying on brand should not be limited to just when you're working with a professional brand designer like myself. You should be on brand anytime you're showing up for your business. I rely on my brand wardrobe for client consultations, brand photo shoots, speaking engagements, and yes, these YouTube videos. Actually, I pull clothes from my brand wardrobe anytime I'm potentially interacting with clients, industry peers, or my audience. When my audience sees me over and over again wearing my same brand colors and dressed in my brand style, it does two things. Yep, you guessed it maintains consistency and builds brand recognition. You might think this is silly or that it just doesn't matter, but I actually know from my own experience how powerful a brand wardrobe is. A few months ago, I posted this photo of myself to Instagram, black and white outfit on a white couch on a white backdrop. Now, to be clear, this is still technically on brand for me because black and white are a big part of my brand, but it's lacking those signature pops of color, especially my favorite one, pink. And my audience noticed. Check out this comment from one follower. A post with no pink? I almost didn't recognize you. And there you have it, brand recognition. How to build your brand wardrobe. Hopefully you've already worked with a professional brand designer. So you've got your logo system, your brand colors, and you are crystal clear on your brand style and aesthetic. If you don't have those things, then I know a really fabulous brand designer that you should contact, like right now. But let's assume you're good to go with your visual branding. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is go shopping. You wanna pick clothing and accessories that match not only your brand colors, but also your brand style. My brand style is sort of that Kate Spade, preppy glam with bright colors and bold patterns. And because this is my personal brand, it's very similar to my own personal style. These are things I would wear even if it weren't for a work-related event. I'm just getting way more specific and making sure that they include my brand color palette. So when I'm shopping, I'm not gonna buy anything that's got a boho vibe or is super hipster or minimalist because even though there are items that I might like, it just doesn't fit my brand style. Which brings me to this clothing haul that just arrived. Personal brand outfits and Lulu's haul. So I have got all of these gorgeous new clothes that just arrived and I'm so excited to show them to you and walk you through my process of choosing them for my brand wardrobe. 
Now, I used to be a total mall rat back in the 90s in my junior high days, but those days are long gone. I actually don't like traditional shopping in stores anymore because my goal is super specific. I'm looking for on-brand clothing in a limited color palette. I've just found that it's so much easier to shop online, and usually my favorite place to do that is Nordstrom. It's a little more pricey depending on the brand, but for the convenience factor, they've got a fabulous app and free shipping both ways, I just think it's worth it. But for this last haul, I actually wanted to try another online store, Lulu's. So Lulu's boasts that they're the online destination for affordable luxury. And because I knew this was gonna be a pretty big haul because, well, let me back up. Last summer I read The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo, which absolutely blew my mind. And I purged a ton of stuff, which included most of my clothing. So it got to be summer this year and I realized I don't have summer clothes clothes. So yeah, I knew it was going to be a big haul and I just wanted to get a lot of bang for my buck. So I decided to try a less expensive option and that ended up being Lulu's. So here is what I got and I'm going to link everything down below so you can go check it out. So here is the first item I got. It's this adorable lace and silk cami and it's got some like little white polka dots. I just love it. And then I also picked this, I love camisoles cause I just like layering a lot. I like to use this green. It's not one of my main brand colors, but I like to have pops of this green throughout my brand. So I'll include it in like some videos and photo shoots and stuff. And it's just great to have as a top. And then another great layering cami, just another black, because like I said before, white and black are a huge part of my brand. So what I will probably do is like add a bright pop of color with this, like with a necklace. And then this is actually one of my favorite tops that I got from Lulu's. You would button it all the way up and then it's got this really adorable little tie that you can tie into a bow in the front and I just think it's precious. And then I wanted to get this little layering sweater. This is super cute. It's like open in the back so you definitely wanna wear like a cami or something with it. But I wanted to get some pink because very much a part of my brand. And then like the green, this yellow color is one of my like secondary or even like tertiary brand colors, but it is an important part of my brand. And so I'll throw it into my wardrobe every once in a while and also like have it on my website and stuff like that, just a little bit to add that pop of color. And then the last one is this top and it's supposed to be a crop top, but I don't really like to wear crop tops, but I think it's super cute for layering and it ties in an adorable bow in the front. So I love that. I think that really like speaks to my brand with like the cute little bows and stuff. And then it's kind of hard to see, but there's this gorgeous gold metallic piping or stitching through here. And as you know, gold is a huge part of my brand too. So I just love how all of these colors just really bring my brand to life. The Lulu's brand experience experience. Note, this is not a sponsored video. Clothing was purchased with my own money and all opinions are my own. This was actually my second purchase from Lulu's, but my first was a dress that I bought back in 2011. So I wasn't super familiar with their brand. However, from a brand standpoint, I was really impressed with the whole order. The pricing was incredibly reasonable and I was actually concerned that the clothing would be a lower quality based on the price point. But when it arrived, I was incredibly impressed by how well made everything was. More than that, I'm usually hesitant to shop anywhere other than Nordstrom, mainly because of the free shipping and free returns. I very often have to send things back because they're not the right size or fit or whatever. So I don't like the stress and added cost involved with shipping and returns at other online retailers. But I actually had an incredible experience with Lulu's. First of all, they don't have automatic free shipping, but it's free for orders over $50. So if you buy two tops, you're basically there. And they offer free returns on all items. So that was a major plus. Secondly, I loved and wanted to keep everything, which never happens. Except there was one shirt, the black and white tie blouse, that was just too big. So I needed to exchange it for a small. I was immediately stressed and assumed it was gonna be a huge hassle, but I called their customer service and they were fantastic. They shipped a new shirt out to me that day, sent me a return label via email, and the whole experience was incredibly pleasant and stress-free. So if you're looking to start your brand wardrobe or you just want a little retail therapy, I would absolutely recommend checking out Lulu's. 
Well, I hope this video has inspired you to start thinking about your own brand wardrobe. And definitely take a peek at Lulu's. Like I said, I have linked everything down below. If you're not quite at the brand wardrobe stage yet and still wondering how to pick the perfect colors for your brand, then check out the video that just popped up, Five Steps to the Perfect Brand Color Palette. Thanks so much for joining me. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week, so hit that little red subscribe button down below and I will see you in the next video.